with the new handlebars that I've got, these are going to look pretty awesome. got these new brake and clutch levers that I want to place on the bike. Um, my front brake lever is actually broken from uh, when it got dropped. Um, I got these from Hitchcock's in the UK and they came really quickly to Australia. The good thing about these is they're stubby so they fit really well inside my bike busters and they have adjustable uh, grab depth so that's kind of handy and I think with the new handlebars that I've got which are black and the black bark busters and the general tidy up at the front of the bike these are going to look pretty awesome okay so we're going to change the clutch lever first in order to change the clutch lever we're going to need to be able to slacken off the clutch cable um, the easiest way to do that is simply put a piece of tape around the nut that's closest to the clutch itself so that you don't lose the adjustment and then use a 12mm spanner to back off this nut which then gives you enough slack to be able to disconnect the cable symbols the 10mm socket and also a 8mm ring spanner underneath and just undo this Hold the lever out. New lever in. Beauty. Okay, now we need to reconnect the clutch cable and then give it a test. According to the manual, there should be around two to three millimeters of um, play in the handle before the lever moves. So you can see there that I've moved the lever two or three mil and then then it comes in. So that's great. I'll keep an eye on that in the next few days. See, that's pretty awesome. Nice. Okay, next up is the front brake lever. You can see here that um, <laughs> where it got snapped when I dropped the bike pre um, bike busters, and that was dropped because I was trying to help someone. For this um, front lever, you need a 10 mil socket for the nut underneath and large flat blade screwdriver.
Okay, I want out. Sorry about all the arms and hands everywhere. Just had to get this started without cross threading it. Um, important thing with this one is to make sure it's a pretty simple job, but you want to make sure that the um, brake lights work afterwards and obviously that the brakes fly. Right. Let's test this out, see if it works. Bike's going nowhere with the brake on, and oh, that's perfect. Okay, so that's uh, job number one done. Brake levers. Working awesome and adjustable. Boom.